Hi guys, today I want to talk about another challenge for motion designers which is rigging and animating animals. So in this video we will rig and animate this on strange together. Let's take a look at the final results. This video is a little snippet of rigging chapter from my recently updated Motion Hero course, which you can check out as a free preview. Alright, without wasting any further time, let's start. I had already created this on strange in After Effects using the shape tool. And for rigging this on strange, I'll be using the Duke Angela script. And if you want to know more about this script, I suggest you watch this video. To start rigging, I begin with the right leg. I select the right leg layers and I go to the Duke Angela. I click on Hominoids, then in the leg settings, I leave this on right. If the left was selected, just click on it and set it to right. I only need these three bones. And it's good to mention that if you hold control and click on the leg button, the Duke will automatically parent all the leg layers to the related bones. Let me do some tweaking. Now let's go to the left leg. I select the left leg just like that. Duke Angela, then Hominoid, then Leg, and the left leg is already selected. I hold Ctrl and click on the leg so all the parenting will be done automatically. Let me tweak this too. For the neck, since I've created it using shape, I come here and select its path. Then I head back to the Duke Angela, Hominoid, and click on the spine. So for the neck, I need a bone for the head and three bones for the neck because I've created the neck with three points of shape. I don't need the spine or the hip. I hold control and click on the spine button. I just have to fix the bone for the head. Now let's work on the body. I select the body and put its anchor point right here so the anchor point of the bone would be placed here. And while the body layer is selected, I go to the Duke Angela Hominoid and Spine. Now I don't need the head nor the neck, so I set them to zero. I just want the hip bone, so I hold Ctrl and click on the Spine button. As you can see, the bone has been placed where I set the body anchor point. I move it step to here. Now for rigging, again I head over to the Duke and click on the select bones so all the bones would be selected. And then I click on auto rig. After that, there are a few things that I need to do though. I don't need this body controller so I delete it. I don't need this either. I need to parent this neck controller to the neck controller of the body's bone. This neck controller is layer 5 and the neck controller of the body's bone is layer 6. So I parent layer 5 to the layer 6. And also I come here and parent the head layer to the head bone which is layer 11. Now if I select the hip controller and move it, as you can see it's been rigged perfectly. If you like the method used to animate this ostrich, as well as many other animations that can improve the level of your animations, be sure to check out my Motion Hero course. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.